It will all take place in Cleveland, Ohio at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. The Celtics taking on the Cavaliers. For the Celtics, they pride themselves on each and every step that leads to victory. The preparation, the focus, the sheer will. Each game a new opportunity to prove their identity. Cavs, Celtics, coming up on 2K Sports. Hi, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. It's a Monday afternoon broadcast of the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Marcus Smart stands six foot three, but he said, I can guard bigs, so I started making a joke. I'm a stretch six. Forget a stretch five. My teammates loved it, and it just stuck with me. He added, I'm the youngest of four boys, so I've been up against bigger guys. For me, that means nothing. Kevin? <laughs> stretch six. I love that. Great stuff, David. Thank you. Both teams tonight dealing with some injuries. Here's a look at who's out for the evening. And with both teams at less than full strength, we'll have to see which side is able to remain more effective. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Bob Williams is out there with Horford. Then it's Marcus Smart. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Tatum in at the three spot. And for Cleveland, Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. A Coro out there with Garland. And it's Wade in at the three, the small forward. And tonight, a battle between conference rivals. Brett, these teams know each other very well. Always fun to see in these kind of matchups, Kevin, if a coach... Outside Garland, to the middle. Here's Mobley, and Mobley throws it down. Mobley. Assessing that possession right there, Garland, waiting for the open. He's still got that in his bag. Mobley dishes to Allen. And Allen slams it in. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. One word you can use to describe Jared Allen, Greg, is efficient. He doesn't waste his chances at the offensive end. I mean, like ever. Here's Stevens. And that one drops. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets. Last to Smart. The feed to Williams. And it's slammed in by Williams. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. He had enough room to finish that one. Good on the shot. And now it's an eight-point Cavalier lead. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Here's Pritchard. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside Williams. To halt the run. A three-pointer is right on target. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Cavaliers ahead. They're up by five. Particular point. It gives us an extra position. And it's demoralized the uh, opponents. And I think it gives my teammates so much confidence. Tell them, hey, shoot it with confidence. And if you miss him, I'm going to go get it for you. And the first one drops. And you look at the 2021 draft class, just some unbelievable talent at the top. I mean, Kay Cunningham, for me, probably is the consensus best player. But, man, you got guys like Suggs and Green and Kaminga with that rare athleticism. And then how about Mobley? He really defines what a modern-day big is supposed to be. I mean, what more could you want? And Greg, at 6'5 and 200 pounds, not the most imposing for say, D.A., the journey is the reward. Thanks. Inside to Allen. And Allen slams it in. At 6'11", Allen, a legitimate threat to finish. To Mobley. Shot from 12. Connects. The jumper drops. Mobley's got 11 points. Celtics trail by 8. 
Her pass is to Williams. Schroeder against Rubio. Schreuder. And there's Schroeder. That's good. The assist by Williams. Well, get to the line. Now, here's Okoro. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And Okoro continues to grow in his confidence. You can see it the way he attacked that time. The Cavaliers shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. Duke. Schroeder, and there are the Celtics with another basket. Schroeder continuing to build his confidence, shooting the ball from the perimeter. I'd like to see him square up and sink those Jays. Puts it up from 12. Garland with the bucket. Garland's got his first points in this one. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Evan Mobley getting it done for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He got to double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Got a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Ricky, how do you guys put this thing away in the second half? We got a lot of turnovers. We got a lot of layups, and that can happen. We have to take care of the ball. We'll see if you can do that, Ricky. Thanks. Back to you. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. A tremendous start for Evan Mobley. He ended up with 19 points and one assist. Kenny, what's your take on Cleveland so far? They're running a smooth offense tonight, creating high-quality shots. Motion's sharp. Sharp as a razor. Their spacing is excellent. They're moving the ball well. I love the way they and Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? The three-point shot has really, really helped them out. I always like to see teams around the three. But when it's dropping like that, I say roll with it. They keep setting good screens. Run these pick and rolls, they'll be tough to beat. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. With the block, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And, and guys, don't think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a... Pass to Windler. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. And the Cavaliers lead by eight. And, and that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Horford with the bounce pass. Here's Pritchard. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Back to Smart. This one for three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. For three. And of course, this is Smart's biggest hurdle. Rubio, the pass to Windler. Mobley. And the shot goes in. Not a lot of resistance on the inside. And they're taking full advantage. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here for Garland does a good job there getting the shot up into the air while he's being fouled. For Cleveland, they have been coming through at the charity stick. They've made seven of their eight attempts. The first free throw is good. Well, Darius Garland, another one of those players who is in the second generation of NBA appearances. His father played seven seasons in the league and has got to be very proud of all of his effort. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Stevens is checked in. And then for Boston, Cantor comes in for Al Horford. And it's Tatum in for Josh Richardson. Boston trailing. 
Pritchard passes to Cantor. Two minutes. Dishes it to Tatum. Tries from 16. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Like the I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Good work there as it goes. This is a guy who plays with a high motor and who enjoys contact. Cantor feasting inside. Garland looking it over. High arcing shot. Count it. Garland. Garland's got nine points now in just the second half. Evan Mobley getting it done for the Cleveland Cavaliers. A terrific quarter for him. And now he has a total of 27 points. Shouldn't take him long to get up over 30. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Sleep on Tatum. He has some ups. And I love seeing him trying to electrify the crowd. A fantastic mobile one block. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Dennis Schroeder. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. On the road, in a tough atmosphere, he's taken on the role of star tonight. If one of their other players came up short, he picked up the slack. The shot clock at six. Puts up a three. And Tatum with the basket Tatum, on the Tatum. assist by Williams. Tatum's got 41. And this is what they wanted. I mean, Mobley. Back to Rubio. Wound up there for Allen. Hammers the alley you crew. And you can see Allen's eyes light up when he saw the opportunity for that alley-oop and finishing it off in style. Here's Schroeder. Outside Tatum. Thirteen feet away. And good that time. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, you got to have a short-term memory. Uh... Sometimes shots just go in, but you always got to be aggressive and just make the right play. You like a cornerback in basketball. That's weird, but it got you a win tonight, man. Congrats. 